All right, what I'd like to guys show you guys is how to solve an equation with a when you have a rational term. If you guys notice again, this x plus y is divided by the z. All right, that is where we that is our rational term. A lot of big problems we have is people we have to solve for y, but people do not know what to do with that z. We know in this in a problem like this, when you have 4x equals 8, you divide by 4 because 4 is multiplied by the x, so the inverse operation would be division. And then out here, if I had x divided by 2, the inverse operation would be multiplication. So you multiply by 2. On this problem, we have our z is divided by x plus y, so our inverse operation is going to multiply. Now, I could just multiply by z right here, but I have to notice, if I'm going to multiply by z, I also have to multiply the z times the negative a, because those are two different terms on the same side of the equation. You can do it that way if you'd like to. However, I prefer to add the a to the other side and then multiply by z. So I'm going to add a to both sides. So now I'm left with x plus y over z is equal to b plus a. Now when I'm going to multiply by z on both sides. And what I'm going to do is remember to keep the parentheses around there because when you multiply on the z, you guys have to remember that these are two separate terms. They're separated by an addition or subtraction sign. So when you multiply, you have to multiply by both of them. So anyways, it doesn't matter because my z's are actually going to cancel out at z divided by z, which will equal 1. So we call them cancel out. So I multiply the z on both sides. I don't just want to say z over here, though, because what do you, if you look at that like that, you say, oh, it's just z times a. No. Put parentheses around your b plus a. So therefore, you notice that z has to be multiplied by b and by a. Those are two separate terms. Now I'm left with x plus y equals, and I'm going to write the z in front, but still represent the same thing. Then it's, we need to solve for y, guys, so we need to get rid of this x. So I'll just subtract the x. My final solution is y equals z times b plus a minus x. And that is how you solve a equation, literal equation with a rational term. If you guys, you could have done it.